Spotify. And then I'm gonna start recording. Yeah. Actually, the stream has started. So. Oh, let's, oh, let's have let's not let's not meta ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but yeah, it's just I don't know how many more students. I usually tell them that okay. If I push you a bit, right, and you're like, oh, right, oh, but that's the, that's the natural response, right? Yeah. Like, I, because you, I know you don't want to do it, but I know you can do better, that's why I push you. Actually, that's why I, I, I've been telling myself that I mm-hmm. perhaps should push a little bit more. Because, yeah, yeah. Like you all will pass up work, but I believe you all can do better, that kind of thing. Yeah. But shouldn't that be the case anyway? Exactly. Like, like just push them no. and make them suffer and cry until they give you their best work. See, no, that's the thing. In the past, that's what is being done to us. Correct. Yes. But now yep. you have to tell them before you do it. Yeah. So that they understand that you're you're coming from, you know, for their own benefit. Correct. Right? Otherwise they will think that you're just a, another fucking asshole teacher. Correct, correct, correct. It's like when I woke up to Belinda, I'm like, Belinda, you did a good job on this. I'm going to pat you on the back once hard to uh, express my admiration. Mm-hmm. Don't forget the mics, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> no, fucking we're champions not, no. we're not. we are live we are live we are going on the mic is live we are fucking hot welcome everyone to the long gun kitty this is john wang your most handsome ajushi ever on the face of the planet even in korea <laughs> okay then yeah, your dance your song and dance was completely wasted yeah, the camera yeah. is back on me the camera oh, is back on me okay oh, and today we have our very special guest <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. Superior John is back. President thank you, thank you, thank Superior you. John. If y'all forgot why he's called Superior John, go and watch the Jimami Tofu <laughs> review where he for, forever cemented his status as Superior Jonathan. Yep. Okay, then thank the you. whole fucking crew is back. Uh, we have from left to right Jerry, Hello. Dan Wong, <laughs> and Angie. Hey. Yes, uh, everybody. Today we have another movie review episode today we are going to try the live stream for the first time all together we had the previous live stream Agar go army right yeah. then we yeah. yeah. right. then then refused to watch yeah he refused to give Jack new money fine yeah. fine then NG came on in the middle of nowhere I don't know where <laughs> she was with <laughs> many <laughs> bright lights yeah streets. walking around yeah. yeah walking around is just like hey let me just join the live stream <laughs> right now and while well, in the middle of walking through the streets of Singapore why not <laughs> and review a movie with Superior Jonathan and gang <laughs> okay <laughs> hey but okay let me just tell you that you know it added like scenery and background and like you know background noise vibes <laughs> vibes vibes okay. so today we'll be reviewing Ajuma uh, sure. NG do you want to tell us more about Ajuma Ajuma is the yeah yeah you look into the camera and say sarang hey to our audience it's like with the heart thing fuck you all why don't you do it why People... women smile more <laughs> yeah why don't you do it you're like <laughs> okay sarang Hey. All right. What well, that's, yeah. that's the most gay sound <laughs> ever. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like the what what does the gay horse eat the joke? Hey. What do you? Eat? Hey. hey. <laughs> that is very that is very homophobic. Insens- bro. Insensitive yeah. to gay horses. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure the gay horses people will come and cancel me shortly after. Hey, uh, maybe you should uh, let the people know there's uh, some technical issues with our equipment. So that no, you no, no, we don't we don't let them know. We don't let them know. Or let them find on their own. Uh, like, they, yeah. they, will, they will experience it firsthand. Telling them about it just makes them. Oh my god! Now I feel it even more. Right, yeah. So no, guys, I... you didn't hear everything that Jerry just said. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. No offense. Okay. So anyways, let me just uh, introduce Ajuma. In case you guys don't know, Ajuma is the term that people use to call like Korean aunties, right? Like they just use it as a term of address for, I guess, middle-aged women and up until you get to the point where you are a grandma and then that you are, I don't know what you call it, a grandma. Do you know Dan Long? Oh, What's I, I do not consume Korean media as often, so I probably Make don't. Make up a word lah. Chai yo. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so from Ajuma, you become a chai yo. Alright. 
Korean 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 Producer and director, yeah, yeah, directed Singaporean. and co-produced by um Hershu Ming and Anthony Chen, um and I think most people would be very familiar with the name Hong Hui Fang, right? Because she's a local actress who has been in I don't know TCS and MediaCorp, SBC, and, and, TCS, oh, yeah, MediaCorp, everywhere, lah. Basically, you know. <laughs> Anyways, this film garnered four nominations at the fifty ninth Golden Horse Awards and. Um, Hong Hui Fang became the first Singaporean to be nominated for the Best Leading Actress Award. It premiered at the 2022 Busan International Film Fest on 7th October this year, and then opened in our local cinemas. Is it still showing right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's still showing. So please go uh, if you want to watch it. Stop fucking watching this because we are going to spoiler the hell out of it. <laughs> All right, just your warning. <laughs> okay, we'll start with oh, uh, we'll start wait, with a spoiler-free wait, one. Wait, wait, one more, one more accolade. Uh, um, the film was selected as Singapore Singapore's entry for the best international feature film at the ninety fifth Academy Awards, and that's it. Okay, so my first jo- uh, question to Superior John is: Do you find it strange that Anthony Chen is not directing but producing instead, and he got um, Shu Min to direct it, even though she's like a, a relatively newer talent? I think this is this project has always been. Sh- her Shu Ming's uh, passion project. Baby, yeah, right, right, yeah. okay. So I'm not quite sure what what was the relationship history between producer and director, but I think uh, probably the director went to the producer and the producer helped him to develop uh, throughout the years. And from what I understand, this project has been developed as early as 2014, 2015. Oh, wow. Yeah, what? It, it was Seriously? actually... Okay, okay. Yeah, because you know, in in, uh, in Singapore, every year there's a Singapore Film Festival. And along the the film festival where people go watch films, there's also this thing called the, the Southeast Asian Film Lab, where they get filmmakers from uh, all over the Southeast Asian region to come and pitch and develop their, 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 their feature projects uh, or debut filmmakers, as far as I understand. So that is where the very, very uh, first incubation of uh, Ajuma actually started, which is, I think, probably eight or seven years ago. Yeah. Okay, so just to double confirm, there's a bunch of South Korean producers out there who are uh, uh, in this incubation program who are waiting for people to give them their submissions to make a feature film. I Am I hearing this right? Cool. Korean, right? I think at that point of time, the South Korean producers who are in this project right now were in on the table at that time. But I think that is probably much more deep in. Is this a is this a mirror of the Jimami Tofu situation where Singapore worked to, worked together with what is it the uh, Okinawa? Apparently, act? this yeah. film is the first official Singapore South Korean co production. Yeah, so I think I, this is way more next level. Oh, uh, we uh, yeah. so, of course, yeah. nothing can like tank yeah. so hard as Jimami Tofu. Yeah. All right, yeah. like, no, they, only that's only according to you. Okay, that's <laughs> just saying. It's the worst fucking film. Just, ever. just saying that it's. It's only it works. And well. then Chen should have like took on Jimami Tofu and, and mm-hmm. develop it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Probably. It wouldn't be the hot mess it was though. Probably become Then we could have been. No, but it. see, Jimami Tofu is only Jimami Tofu because the director wanted to live his fantasies. If it's Definitely. someone else's it's doing it right, it'll, it'll, it'll be a different movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he he, he we really really say it, right? Tofu, the Jimami know? Tofu is he Tahu, alright? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He yeah. Tahu, yeah. 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 Like he he just eat the women's tofu here left and right, basically. Anyways, anyways. <laughs> this this Ajuma film, going back to this the original film that we are like reviewing today, uh apparently it started filming before the COVID pandemic. Then it was interrupted, uh yeah. And resumed in like end December twenty twenty one. I think it actually like they actually probably wanted to film before the pandemic or or maybe at the supposed pandemic time but it, then it got delayed mm. from what I understood I think it actually was filmed somewhere towards the end of last year mm. yeah yeah. it completed yeah. like early April 2022 correct, correct. I'm surprised that it takes such a short time to like edit afterwards yeah. and then release yeah. oh, but isn't like 
if if you look at Hollywood films, right, like all the, even the big budget Hollywood films, the the principal filming is is usually about four months or less, yep. and the special effects is the one that takes a year and a half later. Correct, mm-hmm. correct, correct. But you have to understand that for this film, I think the pre production and development was super long as well. Mm-hmm. So I think that it was it was a really like long what is, process. What is involved in pre production? I think like scouting the locations and all that. That. Or? Casting, but the most underrated process is probably finessing the script, mm. getting mm. it to a right place while trying to hit the deadline. Mm. Yeah, okay, that right. could take as long as forever. Yeah, mm. there's another professional question I have for you. I heard uh, rumors out on the street that actually uh, uh, Hong Hui Fang has passed away, and actually it's Chen Li Lin. Yes, and then I have to see the face. Yeah. 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 Jonathan. <laughs> Do not answer that question. <laughs> hey, this is not this is not the, funny, Dan. Okay? You cannot you cannot just you cannot CG say CG you cannot CG say face. shit like that and then the whole, and then you, uh, bro you're gonna get sued one day. Okay, you're gonna fucking get sued. We just want I'm to gonna, reiterate the fact that we have nothing to do with. I just want to read. I just my, my name is John Wang. I'm from the Rongkang Kitties. I just want to reiter- reiterate the fact that I totally disavow Dan Wong and his <laughs> stupid fucking shenanigans. Okay, oh my God, this is gonna get us into. Okay, never mind. Okay, fuck that shit. We're gonna go straight into the movie review. Let's do a spoiler free <laughs> two to three sentence uh also review. rating right don't we usually do rating Sorry? yeah uh, yeah the, so the a two to three sentence spoiler free followed by a rating okay uh, what's the rating criteria is it out of 10 or 5 it can be remember. it can be it can be out of 7 you can rate it 5 out of 7 you can rate it uh, among number of bananas you can rate it okay. under fucking Dan Wong's Number okay. of STDs, I don't know, whatever, okay, you want to go, okay. whatever rating, just explain to us in some detail, not yeah. great detail, some detail, okay? So let's start with uh, Superior Jonathan. I give it yep. 7 out of 10. 7, okay. Uh, and 2 to 3 sentence, spoiler free. Let's go. Uh, I think that Ajuma is uh, a movie that uh, quite a rare, rare case for Singapore where it delicately strikes the balance between uh, very decent sensibilities by the filmmaker but at the same time being able to have quite a wide audience as well it has a very very uh, right. smart right. smartly right. Uh, targeted demographic right. uh, yeah right. and and it's really easy for for people who people will just go to cinemas to watch films once right. a year this is good it's, it's like mainstream like just almost Right. Tipping its toes into yeah. art house, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> very rare in Singapore. Right. Yeah. I would yeah. wouldn't say dipping its toes, like it's a little bit deeper than dipping its toes, yeah. I yeah. think, yeah. into yeah. indie art house. Okay. Mm-hmm. Who wants to go next? Uh in terms of the I can go next. Alright, Angie, let's go. Seven out of ten as well. Um it's a it's a cream puff of a movie that makes you feel good after watching. Um you know, cream and puff is the right word. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's very cream puff, <laughs> and um, I think it's well worth watching in the cinemas. Like, spend that extra few yeah. dollars mm-hmm. and support local, you know, um, directors, producers, yeah, and act actress. Worth your money. Yep. Yeah. Then you go next, or Jerry. Uh, if you don't mind, I'll go next. I give it seventy-five STDs out of hundred STDs. <laughs> <laughs> That's all a lot of STDs. <laughs> and wow. all the STDs are all yours. Uh, I found it to be incredibly thoughtful, uh, entertaining, nuanced. Uh, I felt very... Um, that it tackled the, the tone of the movie well. It made me laugh. It made me feel heartfelt. Maybe tear up a little bit. Um, it also is a strange case of... Um, I've been watching a lot of these things recently uh, where the older actors seem to just overshadow the the younger actors, you know, their 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 acting chops just seem to be so much better than them. It makes me feel like the younger actors are like like fake. Huh? <laughs> what do you guys think? You mean like they're fake acting? Yeah, they're fake acting. Like you know when you watch oh, the Japanese films. Or, or oh, no no, just the younger actors. Even the the tour guy and and all. I, I'm I'm specifically referring to Hui Fang and then the security guard man, mm-hmm. whose name I can't pronounce. But you, you know that he's a veteran, yep, yep, right? Yep, yep. Yeah. So you can really tell the difference between the veterans and the, yeah. the younger folk. Yeah. Also, yeah. Also. Uh, mm. You can do that shit. But you know what? Uh? Okay, this one, one quick one before we uh, That's two or three sentences now. Yeah. You got to stop now. You got to stop now. I'm removing your mic uh, privileges because of your comment oh, about. Oh, that smells terrible. Yeah. 
Okay, okay. Right, Jerry, please. Yes. Um, I'm gonna rate it six copies you ties and one copies you should tie of ten Does copies. Does that mean? It's like six point five, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So one copies you tie and one copies you should tie. So it's not very sweet, lah. Yeah. Okay. I I think interesting. I I generally like the movie. Uh, what I feel is uh there are some parts that feels a bit forced we'll talk about it later yeah yeah okay yep. and there are some parts yeah. that I thought could be extended but they didn't really mm, extend yeah, it yeah yep. yeah yeah for sure um, and pretty much pretty, pretty much it's like you know like, like what you guys say you know, it, it's very enjoyable it's very warm you know it's, it's got a fuzzy feeling and you leave the theatre feeling good about the movie but, but slightly unsatisfied yeah like yeah. that's it, why it's a cream puff certain parts right it's like oh, come on man could have done this this way you know I don't know whether it's a a collective decision to not do it or uh you know or is it the producers want to push some some things through but yeah it, it's just that it's, it's like almost there but not quite enough almost can get it a seven but you know just a little yeah bit just a little bit all right okay i'm gonna give it uh one dan wong out of 10 longkang kiddies which is actually a very high score okay the, the real, the real oh, score how, how do you feel love right now no it's a one, one dan wong out of 10 longkang kiddies okay so it's I a reverse that. so meaning to say how many longkang kiddies is one dan wong yeah was? it's mm. uh, many okay and um the real rating is about i would say about eight out of ten uh. wow you are eight uh, longkang wow. kiddies dan wong no as in you are very low on the chart Whoa. um <laughs> You're just not making sense anymore, John. Okay, I? I usually say that for then, not you. So, the I'm generally very happy with a lot of the creative di direction they went in. Uh, mm. Some of them are pleasantly surprising to me. Wow. But there are also a lot of, I think, like narrative shortcuts that they take, mm -hmm. uh, which pisses me off a lot. But still uh, an 8? Yeah, still an 8 because... Um, one of the things you all probably don't know about me is I really love slice of life um, animes uh, in particular. Not so much television shows, uh, not so much movies, but slice of life anime is uh, one of my so-called secret guilty hobbies. Uh. Wait, what does that mean? Like just slice of life? Have you watched this uh, anime called Honey and Clover? Have you heard of it? I've heard of it, but yeah. I don't know what it's about. So quite the, famous, the right? yeah, it's quite famous. The, the whole show, right, is just revolved around like very simple things. Like there's a relationship between like two cousins, and then there's a classmate who like kind of like fell in love with you know like this three way. Um, oh my god, you're in a romantic. Yeah, no, it's very. <laughs> it's no the, the whole the whole the whole series, right, is like about grand nothingness, but it's so important to the people who are living out who are living um, it out in that moment in their lives isn't that what exactly i said you are a secret romantic okay whatever so anyway the the slight i think this this particular movie the slice of life aspect of it i think is done really well i just feel also the there's a couple of elements in there yeah like i think jerry said it uh, feels very forced mm -hmm. and then there's a lot of uh, not to say a lot there's a, there's a bunch of narrative shortcuts that they take mm -hmm. which i also don't i, I feel like if they kind of maybe they have the, the show runtime is pretty short it's right? very short it's very short yeah. I feel like if they've taken like another 15-20 minutes right uh, remove the narrative shortcuts and like kind of push a little bit more on the the heavier stuff I think it would have worked out a little bit better the runtime is about 90 minutes mm -hmm. yeah which is very short it feels very yeah. short it I, doesn't I, very, I, very short I walked out of the movie and I feel like huh that, that's it it's yeah. like the yeah. the like I feel like we could have used another at least 15 minutes. Yep. Yeah. You know, if like, let's say Tiong Baru Social Club was like a cheesecake, you know, like you walked out of there satisfied, like it gave you a good like ending that you're like, okay, that's cool. This one is like a cream puff because you eat already, then you're like, I think one more, like, should I order another one or something, you know, like. <laughs> like one more, one anything. more is too much, but don't eat, is too little. No, it's like yeah. you eat it already, right? Like, it's like you're eating air. It tastes mm. great, right? But there's nothing in your stomach. Right, right. Kind of feeling. Sir, another um, professional question. <laughs> No, wait, 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 I wait, have to wait, screen wait. this question. Wait, 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 no, you don't have to screen this. Don't do anything. <laughs> so, uh, dead, uh. based on your understanding of, of the Nobody script or, or, or how you guys feel, right? do you think this uh, lack of lack of fullness is because the act three is not substantial enough? The stuff that happened... Um, I feel like sometimes with scripts, right, when you, when you go a certain direction, from the gut feeling of the creator or 
just by the circumstances of the the plot structure, right? There's only a few ways you can you can go already. You know what I mean? So if if let's say it went with this direction and and in this particular direction, focusing on the tour guide story, and that which is a sub story, and Hong Hui Fang story with the the old guy, that means that it's gonna have a uh, element of uh unfulfilledness to eat both stories. You know what I mean? Because there's two threads at, at the same time. But, you know, that's the creative decision they went with. Okay, maybe I feel like this should be a later part of the right, discussion. Right, right, right. Because correct, we, right. nobody knows what we are talking <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, right. we, yeah. I mean, we can kind of go straight into the, the spoiler aspect of the, of the show. So if you haven't watched it, this is your final warning. Here will be the heavy spoilers uh, region of the of the review. So Ajuba dies in the Amak Graves. <laughs> Yeah, that, uh, you try to force. Yeah, yeah. This, there, but there's some, there's some, there's a body being buried in this movie. Oh, yeah. that is one of the things that I would like to get. Into. Okay, but maybe also. Oh, so, uh, well, I don't think uh, we should mm. review the. Okay, I personally, uh, I don't think we should review the movie like what we did before, which is we analyzed like uh, from the beginning all the way to like chronological order. I think we just start off straight right with the stuff that we didn't like about the movie. No. no, don't have. Yeah. Why? The stream deck. Uh, we couldn't get it to work this time, but next time we we'll get it. To yeah, work. yeah. Okay. I, I swear, I swear to every god that I know that we get the stream. We deck. we have a. It's okay, okay, okay. Yeah. No, 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 body that died one doggo which i fucking hate i hate the dog the most in the fucking film <laughs> Are you serious? Wow. i the dog is the worst part of the film for me okay uh superior jonathan okay what is the portion of the like let's just go straight into the critique what is the part that you didn't really particularly like or enjoy about the movie i felt that the, like, I, like, I, like i was saying just now the fact that it focused on two sub stories it give a feeling of uh like nothing is nothing is really uh fully developed uh so so to explain a little bit more in when when hong hui hong hui fang's character goes to korea she gets uh lost and abandoned by the the, the tour guide and then uh, and the tour bus and the tour guide has to go on this pursuit to find her and the tour guide has his own issues with his his family and loan sharks and at the same time, uh, Hong Hui Fang is on this other kind of sweet journey with this old Korean security guard. So that's where the film kind of goes to these two mm. stories. And I think in a road trip journey, as especially, you kind of want to be focused on just the central characters at, at all times. And I think making that decision does uh, weaken the script a little. Yeah, because yeah. you want to be tight, right? Correct, like, correct. You want, yeah. you want the, the script to be revolving around yeah. the the people you meet yep. and join the trip yep. is like a journey to the west kind of thing correct one more thing that i felt that was a little bit wasted and this is also like what ng said the the cream puff feeling right it's that you know when you think about an ajuma right uh, no uh, uh, an, an singapore auntie that is fixated with korean dramas right mm. just the image of being hypnotized by the TV screen, right? Mm. There's a certain level of dysfunction to it, you know, and that has <laughs> there's, a <laughs> there's a potential for for something darker, yeah, right. which I think is something that has to be treaded delicately. Is this, is this a Tiong Bao Social Club horror wait, horror wait, 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 area? Okay, again? Let, me just, let me just say, like, I I, I disagree with that because mm. like a lot of people who watch K drama don't have that sort wait hang on are you talking about yourself i do don't you, watch k-drama you watch k-drama i don't don't lie okay I just as my guilty pleasure is my guilty pleasure slice of life. my Yours guilty is... pleasure is romance novels it's not k-drama yeah. okay right like, k-romance novels i don't feel like that shit <laughs> right, right, right. okay but um but like uh I, I think there are a lot of i do but i do know a lot of women mm. who watch it right and mm. it's not really like I, she here right like it doesn't portray her as an addict correct correct right because yeah. the story is that uh she want uh her, her son who who booked like a korean trip 
mm. with her mm. for, for her to go together mm. right because her husband died and then you know like she's mm. only got her son and then the son booked the trip but then he couldn't make it yeah that's why she decided to go on home yeah. there was nothing there about her being like a, a, yeah. a addict of korean right. drama even though it shows that she was like she's, she's a she fan of yeah. korean drama yeah. right um so i don't know if that is yeah the thing but the dysfunction i think is more yeah. the fact that like she's got the empty nest syndrome because right. her son is leaving to the yeah. u.s for a job yeah. interview and then she's just like oh my son uh placed his interview before me then like the trip is cancelled what do mm. i do with myself i already bought all the all the winter wear you know i told all my friends yeah. and then like now now the tour company calls me hey should you cancel it no i can just go on my own so yeah those those are scenes that i actually don't like Mm. So so my point is actually I felt that it should be a bit more dangerous. Really, she yeah, should yeah. be an addict. <laughs> she oh. should be binge watching okay. up to twelve hours a day. But that that's purely my point of view. Right. That anybody can disagree I, with. I see where you're going with this. So uh, the wrap up later on is that uh, even though she's an addict, uh, she meets the the real actor that she likes, right? Yeah, and then yeah. she sees his dark side, and then she understands that it's a it's a it's just a farce. And then she prefers the real Korea, the security guard, right? The real life Korea as opposed to this idealized, idealized idealized no but the Koreans will not allow this movie to be made but but it will make for a stronger story wait, 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 yeah, wait, yeah, wait, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait I'm not sure I'm not sure because like this is a story about a woman facing mm. real life things yep right like and I like the fact that she, she's not portrayed as a dysfunctional character right, right, right. like where and it's like John said a very slice of life what really happens to a possible like Ajuma, you know, mm. in Singapore. It's not like the, oh okay, my god, I, this is damn dark. Okay, the dysfunction, uh, there's another part of the movie where the dysfunction really comes in, which is the son actually is, first of all, he's gay. Mm. Okay, and then can... after the, the, so the son actually make up the whole, okay, it seems like the son made up the whole interview in the US story to get away from his mom. Is that what you got? That's what I got from it. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, I, think, I didn't so, get that. Yeah. Did you guys get that? I didn't get that as well. Yeah, I'm but just wondering why it wasn't a, really, a Skype interview. That's a really interesting point. I, I got the... He's trying to get a job for real because the, mm. you know, the partner is getting... actually gotten a job in the US, so he's trying to move over. And, you know, so he, 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 he's really going for an interview, but he didn't get it. So yeah. it's, a sec, it's, more like a, it's more like a secondary objective. So yeah, there, yeah, there's yeah. a... The, the primary objective is to be with his partner. And right? the, the, yeah. the thing that really threw me off is, you know, the son was kind of cold to her mom when he was leaving for mm -hmm. the airport. Mm -hmm. But uh, when the mom got into trouble, and he's like so worried, you know, he's like, wait, but how's the dynamic you of know the relationship? The, the weird part about this, this, this part where she waves him off to go to the US, right? Mm -hmm. The strangest part for me is that I think a normal family, right, would send you down to the taxi, right? Or, or at least go to the airport with you if, mm. if you're not going to see him for you don't know how long depends lah yeah. depends lah when, yeah, so when I left for my school uh, my parents just like oh okay I'll take care mm. oh really yeah mm. yeah. Mm. yeah but the okay so that particular scene where so here's how it's set up lah the, the mom is behind the gate right the metal gate then the son of is the house. of the house then of the, of the HDB block of the HDB unit now that the son kind of like turns away walks towards the elevator and didn't didn't turn back to look at mom but mom had that yearning right that, that she wants him to look back and just before he gets on the elevator so there's also that little bit of dysfunction there so th that that is the that's the setup okay the can scene. i just interject here to say that this movie <laughs> this cream puff of a movie right is fucking rated nc-16 because of yeah. probably because of this gay part which is not even like a huge part of the movie okay it's like maybe like i don't know five percent of it huh? no, less five percent man yeah, less than that, right? Like I was just I was just being second. generous when I said five yeah. percent. But honestly, it's so so little bit of the movie, right? I don't understand why it got N C sixteen even. It's so insane. Hmm. The beating. Alright, come down come down with the gay agenda, Angie. <laughs> <laughs> the church is gonna cancel okay now. Nah, <laughs> nah, no, don't say that. Don't fucking say that. Okay. So the 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 gay thing also is like okay, we kind of like it, it was set up in very early in the show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she but, saw this scene with the sun, right, and a, a man in the car yeah. behaving somewhat intimately. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 So the pink dot, the pink dot straps. Oh yeah, the oh, pink dot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't see yeah. that detail. Okay, okay. The 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 bedroom. The bedroom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, I, didn't, the, I wasn't yeah. really paying attention. Yeah. 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 Nice, wow. nice little. Wow, nice detail. catching. Yeah. Yeah. Nice catching yeah. of that. No, it so, on for a little bit. Oh, like, is it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, uh, the pink dot thing was like very in your face, but 
Um, so it, it, but the the thing I like about that, right? Even though it's it was set up so heavy handedly, uh, the payoff at, all the way at the end of the movie, when the son finally admits that uh he's in fact gay, actually hurts me quite a lot. Like seeing uh the mom's reaction, like. Yeah, I know about it already, and you still lie, but I'm not going to be angry at you. And then the, that that scene really hits me quite hard. I feel like it's a int- very interesting scene because the way that she handled it, right, or, or the mm. movie that is written, is the like she almost brushes it off. Mm. Or something like that. Mm. You know, you think I never see gay people before, man? Like, why even you never tell? That kind of thing. And then afterwards, after she ended the call, then you see the devastation mm. a little bit. And I don't know if it's because the son. You know, didn't tell her, and partially also pros- probably because she's like, "Oh my god, my grandchildren." <laughs> no, I, that's why I think. That's why uh, I think, right? The that's why I think the movie kind of sets it up so that the the primary reason for the guy leaving for the US is because of his partner. So she, he was in fact lying to his mom about maybe not say precisely the job interview part of it. Maybe he there was a job interview, but. The, he was lying about the primary reason and I think she she got that you see, she understood that like she mm. couldn't tell her that he's in fact gay and that he's in fact going there for his partner and only tell her kind of like at the end of everything like once the, the crisis is over the crisis of her being lost in Korea then suddenly all this big review and then she felt the devastation and that was, that was also where it kind of like hit me a little bit lah. in a way I I dislike that the idea that because it portrays as a son as a kind of a heartless person even though you know like the circumstances isn't yeah so heartless. that that is my first thing which i don't like which is the narrative shortcuts so mm-hmm. th- there's there's three narrative shortcuts that i think is very very fucking problematic so the first one is the son so the son yeah. being a, like a heartless prick right and only for him to kind of like semi redeem himself he didn't um, even how did he even redeem himself he like he, redeem like the, the the worrying and all that la, like the but, but once once he once he confessed right the, the relationship kind of got warmer there was a softer the side of him yeah, yeah. you know and, and he offered to buy the mum a new handphone <laughs> <laughs> how nice <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah I, I really didn't enjoy the portrayal of the son um Again, like the, the the sort of like not enough kind of feeling. Right, like right, there right. should be a lot more backstory if you're gonna tackle something sensitive like this. You know, it it, it um it just. But yeah. you know what's funny? Can I just say, look at how much conversation it has generated. It's just a really sh- tiny bit in the sure, movie, and sure. we've been talking about it for the last fifteen minutes. Well, but we also talk now. about lo- lots of inconsequential things for like long, longer than fifteen yeah, minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So so just to interject, right? Like uh, I feel like. Phones are getting destroyed in movies a lot nowadays. It, it, it's, it's one of those little coincidences that has to happen because <laughs> the moment you have a phone with you and it's not destroyed, it doesn't get wet, doesn't fall into the boat, doesn't get run over by a... Bro, but then how do bro, you set up tension? Yeah, you bro, you know, I, I, you know I run uh, Call of Cthulhu campaigns, right? And then if you run it in the real world uh, where people can communicate <laughs> with each other freely, yeah, but then it removes a lot of the, 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 the horror, tension, yeah, the tension like and the, all that. So yeah, the worry and stuff. This is something that I can really close. Like I literally will close both eyes on this. I part, think okay? it's just the ease of connectivity like that, that really fucks up the, the storytelling nowadays yeah. it's like hey, oh my god why am I so worried I just call my friend hey where are you <laughs> and that's it that's it that's your whole entire fucking movie hey ma where are you yeah. oh I'm here yeah okay bye and, that's and, the and it cannot be like run out of battery because fuck lah just go and charge it lah right? <laughs> it's not like it's like a, a mythical charger the, that you cannot find it's either you destroy the phone or that place is so rural that there's no, no connectivity yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Then, you the then you just see her wandering around like this <laughs> If it didn't get destroyed, you'll be doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is literally what I did yesterday. Because I couldn't get connectivity. I was like... <laughs> so <laughs> in the future, when we put our, the phones in our head, we implant it to our brain. How what is the plot device that we need to... Uh, to it fails. <laughs> uh, it fails in your head. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you just get decapitated. <laughs> <laughs> just walk around. Oh no, I, I lost my head. I don't have a phone now. <laughs> Shit. Okay. The the other the second incon the second narrative shortcut that I really don't like is the is dog. The, no, the dog is the last one. Okay, I'm gonna get, okay, I'm gonna get to the dog the last one okay, because okay, I yeah. fucking hate the that fucking dog. dog man. I really hate that dog a lot. Okay, but the second one I feel is the loan shark story. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. and that they use the kid right too much. The so the there's a poor the, the there's a secondary main character which is the 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 guy on the the tour operator on the tour bus. 
right? So he's kind of also portrayed as a little bit of a smart, smart ass, you know, like kind of like uh, throwing his authority around with the younger, um, with the younger staff on, mm. on the tour bus, you know, like just demand. Like she come up with a reasonable suggestion, then he just like wave it off. Nah, fuck that. Like don't argue with your superior, please. You know, then then turns out he's the one that is like the most uh, careless and. He's yeah, he's a very inept, and he's a dumbass. Like. He really is a dumbass. Then of course he needs to have the the loan shark story in order for like to to develop the only kind of like high yeah. tension moment in the movie, which is the the car chase scene. But that's okay. But I don't like it that they needed him to have this young daughter like it is specifically a daughter right it cannot be a son because if it's a son right somehow that diminishes the whole thing so this is where i feel like the daughter is probably just there to tug at heartstrings yeah exactly so either is this is the narrative shortcut that i that i was talking about like if you replace the daughter with a son then somehow it doesn't work right then you know this this part of the movie is is kind of like dodgy on shaky grounds what do you think superior jonathan i yeah i i didn't quite like the loan shark plot as well because I felt that it was a it was just for them to have that quite fantastic car chase scene. Yeah. Mm. But yeah. It, but the thing is if you don't have the loan shot moment right, there yeah. won't be that that marvelous scene where she's like See Ina Correct, correct, correct. Yeah exactly. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So yes, you can. Correct. Oh my god, I love that scene so much. Because when I see Lone Shark right half of me is thinking, are you thinking like Channel 8 Lone Sharks? And you're just like what if we transpose this <laughs> into <laughs> Korean context? You know, Wait, are the, they like this the, kind of loan sharks where they exactly, in, but, in, in, but they in, do in appear Korea? in it does appear in Korean movies. I mean, the well, the yeah. Squid Games uh, there's this gangster guy who yeah, also yeah. owes yeah, money. Yeah. Yeah. Like all of them owes money to somebody, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's that kind of vibe. Yeah. I, think, yeah. I think they got the vibe. Okay, okay. Yeah, I I, I don't I don't think, think the the loan shark thing right could be like what what John what? was saying just now. Like if you have a road trip movie, you should keep it tight. Mm. He can be away doing something to solve his problems and then lose Arjuma, right? And then they go on this other car chase without actually having to show his family at all, you know. They keep mm. the film a lot tighter and still have all these action scenes. I, I, the, the family thing, right, like for me is, it's so a bit disjointed mm. you know like first he it definitely to, is the part of the movie that doesn't gel with the rest yeah, yeah like yeah. first he has to uh contend with his mother-in-law who correct. hates his guts correct right because he owes money and then like now he's coming to her house to harass her her daughter and her grandchild right and she's she's keeping them in and then the wife the wife is like i think on the verge of a divorce already and he's just like you know hey uh you know uh, i'm doing my best i'm gonna like earn this money i'm gonna pay them back and then the wife's like, yeah, sure, okay, whatever. And then the third part is the kid, right, who doesn't listen to the mother, yeah. right? Like, and then the dad has to come in and be the disappearing force. No, you mm. need to be a good girl and listen to your mother. Like, what the yeah. fuck, man? I mean, which could be fair enough. Like, it, it's kind of like, uh, in a way. And the word, I, I would say that the not so good thing is that all these things, right, doesn't affect Hong Hui Fang. Yeah, like, the, I don't in understand. A, in, a, in, a, in the least bit. And then the worst part, right, is the last part in the airport where the tour guide comes to send Hong Hui Fang away, right, yep. and say goodbye so that she takes her flight to Singapore. And then he came he came with the kid. Then the mom thought he, like, kidnapped the kid or something, right, or mm. something. Uh, I don't know, like, yeah. she doesn't know where the, she took the kid. And it, it, that scene is just like, why can't you even just resolve that scene? Mm. You know, just say that, oh, hey, well, yeah, my wife let me take her here mm. so that she can meet you. Mm. Then you add like this unnecessary tension at the end of the movie mm -hmm. that's not resolved. Then you're right, like, okay, right, what, right. what the fuck is going on with this dude after this? Yeah. Huh? Like, yeah. yeah, so like, um, it's just like fucking weird. I'm gonna yeah. turn the camera away while Jerry is packing up his shit. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> <laughs> He's packing for a road trip in Korea. <laughs> yeah. Jerry, why you We're gonna make a Ajuma 2, Aju C. 300, you know, Aju C. <laughs> the Gen, Gen X Aju. <laughs> the Aju C before dinos. Go. Oh my god. Then before Aju C. Go Korea like Comic Con. <laughs> I'm, I'm 300 years old. I speak a type of Korean that youngsters don't speak anymore. Fucking <laughs> oh, hilarious. Well, anyways, yeah. Um, okay, I don't know. Jerry's done. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that, that the point about the kid, la, like, it just it just annoyed me because you leave me with a knot that you didn't unravel, mm -hmm. and then I leave the the cinema going like, huh? Yeah. Actually, one of the things that uh that Superior John touched on is everything. Every strand is like you don't tie up the loose ends. Okay, yeah. uh, Jerry, I'm blind and plug your mic back. Hello, 
fine. Yep, just go. Yeah, okay. So it's like it's like every strand of the story leaves untied. But kind of to me it kind of ties into um like going on this kind of five day tours, right? It's like mm. you you make friendships in those five days and then at the end of it it's like, hey we can contact, I can contact yeah. And nothing happens. Yeah. You know, then then like, you know, three years later it's like, hey, we're going to Japan, you know, you guys wanna come along like, oh okay, okay, right. okay, you know. And and the relationship picks up again from there. So it's 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 kind of weirdly um it kind of really mirrors real life. Right. Yeah. Which is why I think uh, I say it's a slice of life movie, right? Which is a, a lot. I, I appreciate a lot of the realism that they inject into the movie. It really feels like, okay. Th- and I feel like uh, there's, there's a bit of teasing of the unrealistic from time to time. So mm. like, for example, when the, when, uh, when the main female lead, Ajuma, wanted to was in the car with the old guy, the Ajushi, right? Then it was, there was a bit of a teasing, like, are they going to get into a romantic situation? <laughs> which, yeah! which, which, thank fucking God, they did not. They, I'm really, okay, so this is one of those things that I think they teased it a little bit. Like, it feels like, hey, wait, is this going to be a Korean drama scene right is here unfolding? Romantic drama. Yeah. But it, it turns out to be nothing, which, Thank God, yeah, they just yeah. became friends. Yep. That uh, where he will just send her like wooden uh, carvings that he made, yeah. uh, like he handmade. And I have to say that I was a bit like disappointed. Uh, no. With what? Uh, I thought it was just nice. Actually, I thought it was. No, just no, no. Nice. As in, yeah. I, at first, at first, right? I was just like, oh, shucks, oh. <laughs> they are like so cute together. And then, but then I thought about it in hindsight. I was like, actually, I'm glad that it didn't develop into a romantic movie because this film is about like her life yeah. you know and if it became about like a romance right then it would have taken that sort of like uh agency away from her yeah. then she just but becomes more, like a but more than oh. that right it's also like super fucked up right it's like angie if you go to korea you got lost and then someone had the kind heart to like fair you around then you just be like oh yeah i'm gonna fall in love with this guy cannot be right it's it, no it, but it, uh, it, it i don't know if you sense, ever had like an overseas romance where you just go somewhere and meet somebody Okay, but I would say that like the if <laughs> Nobody, I've, nobody's agreeing with you. <laughs> I've had that experience and I would say that the emotions are very heightened because yep, you're yep, not yep, yep. you're almost in a fantasy land because yeah. you don't have your normal day to day experience, right, where you're thinking about work and shit. So you're just there on holiday and then you right. meet somebody who's like everything like so so awesome and then like you get along and everything's fun because you're on holiday, right? Um and the emotions just come very mm-hmm. quickly because mm-hmm. you bond over like things that are very exciting like you go mm. somewhere and experience something for the, new for the first time as opposed to being here right and or going to watch a movie or like going by mbs or i don't know where it, wherever people go okay, okay. Gentlemen, please take note of what ng is I'm taking saying that like this is how you take it, advantage it, of it female very, tourists it feels very magical when you meet somebody overseas that you think you have a really great 100%, connection with yeah and then it's very easy to fall in love uh whether that continues is a different thing but I would say that it's way more exciting meeting somebody overseas and feeling that connection versus being here. Yep. And because you're always okay, so burdened I'm by... Just, I'm just thankful, right, that they tease that yeah, 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 outcome, it, it but it. didn't do it. And, no, I a, like and, that, and I think that's a very that's a creative decision they that they made. They give you the space to imagine for yeah. yourself because you're like, oh, maybe. Yeah. maybe. There, there was a split second where you're just like, Oh shit! Is this gonna turn that way? Then it didn't, and then you're just like, "Thank God it didn't." Like I'm, I'm just yeah. really happy about that. So that's yeah. one of the positive points about the movie. The the last narrative shortcut that I really fucking hated, the ultimate one, the dog, the fucking the doggo. doggo. Okay. Why, the, why you do this to the doggo, man? The, first of all, the dog, right? Is like, in, in, John, uh, Superior John, back me up on this. There, there's this, there's this <laughs> theory in in movie making that basically, if you want to heighten someone's uh heroic or good aspect right the the most easy way is to have him rescue a dog or rescue a child i think that is a myth yeah. around that floats around yeah like that. so there is like some and, and if you kill a dog by let's say murder yeah the ratings you are like, you are the go, bad guy it go yeah. totally like yeah. robot you bottom. you are it's so hilarious like, like are, it doesn't matter if you kill a billion people uh, exactly it's fine. you, you kill, kill one a dog, dog, dog yeah people yeah. get come after yeah. you so the the dog in this show right Okay, it appears for two minutes max. Okay, like the, so. What happened was the uh, the main female lead, Ajuma, uh, was lost. The security guard, who is the secondary uh, character, kind enough to uh, bring her to have some meal, then bring her over to her home, uh, to his home, 
to to stay the night before they uh go uh, embark on their rescue mission or whatever uh, send her back to the tour bus and there was a dog in the house then overnight the dog did yeah the <laughs> fucking dog just nice had to cock it right at that fucking moment <laughs> did, when ajuma was around i i i I'm, I'm not sure did he die because it's like he did not get enough heat or something. Like that. <laughs> I, I hope not. I mean, okay, so there's this really, really weird thing. Of course, thing it's because damn random. They, yeah. uh, be- they kind of set it up because when the, the two characters got to the security guard's house, right? Like, he was. There was this whole like, hoo ha about him feeding the dog medicine and how, like, the dog has been with him very long and then, like, it's sick now. And then, so you can see the love the uh, Ajushi right. feels for the doggo, right? Because he's like, oh, tenderly feeding him food and la la la. Then, um, because awkward, right, men and male and female in the same house together and awkward, right? So then the, the Ajushi offers Han Hui, Hong Hui Fang like his bedroom yeah. to sleep in, right? And then like because it's very cold or something, like uh, she couldn't sleep or it was just in a strange situation. Then then from the bedroom, right, she was looking at the ex-wife of the Ajushi. Yeah. Then she went out to the living room where the Ajushi was sleeping and then she slept at the at the sofa like facing him it was like a fucking weird thing and then in the morning right they found out the dog was dead and because she didn't close the bedroom door the dog went in oh is it yeah they found the dog in the bedroom one so yeah it's possible yeah. that it's died it's from too cold? yeah it's yeah. from the cold but also like super coincidental man <laughs> and i i fucking hated it because it, it, it didn't give okay let's say like the Ajushi would have been grieving for the dog right then they made this whole like um, thing where he puts it in a into a box mm-hmm. and then uh, puts it in the car then he has to send her back to to wherever she came from and then they embark on this crazy car chase because they mm. saw the tour guide and then they like, saw the tour guide in the van after he was kidnapped <laughs> by the loan sharks yeah exactly yeah then so the uh the Ajusi went so the the whole setup also is a bit fantastical it's, it's like very comedic yeah very know. comedic yeah. so Ajushi went uh in his car to the petrol station first then he was just like oh do you need anything then she said no she he went in presumably to get snacks just sounds like ng pay for <laughs> the, the gas <laughs> pay for the gas and then ajuma saw the these gangsters they come out of the vehicle then for a brief moment while the while the van door was open she saw the the tour guide through through the open door and then she was just like oh, oh, oh i gotta go and rescue him now because this seems like a great fucking idea no and the so, best thing so she, she went to the driver's seat and tried to like start the car and then yeah. Ajusi came like running back and she's like no 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 let me just drive this bloody thing i can drive very fast no and then the thing is right like imagine right your dog died oh you know you rescue a random stranger yeah. brought her to your house the, your dog died and you you are, then you have in the morning you have to drive her back you know like with your dead dog in the back of your car and then you go like she hijacks your car and then you're just i don't know risking your life riding next to her while your dead dog is like just yeah. moldering in the back <laughs> and then afterwards after they rescue the tour guide then they have this scene where he buried the dog in this very scenic location and and then uh han hui fang like it started snowing then hong hui fang just Started twirling yeah. in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, what the fuck is going on, man? Like, that's the art house part of it. That is it like that one, that part. I just felt like um, smashing my head on a wall, you know. Right. Like especially when she started twirling and laughing, and then the Ajushi was like. So you know, oh. you know what's funny. So so I, I watched it with uh, with my wife, right? So Anna was sitting to me, and then she leaned over. Did you do that when you saw snow for the first time? <laughs> They're like, not as extreme, but something like that. Yes. Yeah, I remember. Okay, my the first time I saw snow, right? I was on a school exchange, mm. um, and we were in Jilin, China. So mm. a bunch of us Singaporean kids, are uh, we were st- sitting in like a KFC or something like that. Or the local equivalent and then like all of a sudden right like it started like very small pieces of snow started falling yeah, down yeah. and you know it's just dirty right, right like right, on the streets right, and everything right. it's just snow and Jilin yep. is a very cold part of china yep. right it's very close to harapin right and then the lot of us are uh, just rushed out and started going ah! <laughs> and then all the locals were like looking at us like oh, and, and you see that's the thing kids, man. if hong hui fang's depiction of that right yeah. was like what you described yeah i thought it would be great Right. But that scene was so like skirted over. It was just like, let me play a K-pop song and it, it was a bit neither here nor there. The, yeah, the first, yeah, yeah, the yeah, first encounter so. with Snow. Speaking yeah. of K-pop, I have some soju here. 
<laughs> your your head is in the camera, by the way. I can see it. once again you are like packing, cool, man. packing for Korea, packing for stuff. <laughs> did your like all this you plot holes that we pointed out, right? Did your immediately got triggered or picked it up right away, or it was like an afterthought when you all watched the movie? Um, the dog part was a what the fuck. Okay, okay. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, I really didn't like the dog at all. Yeah, right. the dog part was, it just made me angry yeah. for no reason. Like, how dare you use this dog like this? Right. How killed you? Um, but the rest of it, I think it was more like, it irked me a little while I was yep, watching, yep, but yep. like it's only after I finished watching that I thought about the process still, like, sure, essentially. Sure. Yeah. Because I watched this movie twice. First oh, wow. time, right? I was like, in a nitpick mode, I was like, mm -hmm. what the heck? Why you got car chase? Why you got dog die? Like, hey. mm. Second time you put that aside, and it was actually very magical, the whole thing. Mm. And I think that, you know, because the first time I watched it, right, there was a lot of aunties inside. And you can <laughs> feel that they really the connected. Energy. They really connected with it. Yeah, yeah, I and I think imagine. they were viewing it, they have that suspense of disbelief. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have to put ourselves into like an Ajuma mode lah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, in a way. You have to put yourself in the, uh, the classic Media Corp drama audience mode. Oh, okay. Like, I, I made this observation and I don't know if you guys will agree with me. Like, but I felt like Hong, Hong Hui Fang's acting, right? Like, was quite varied in this movie. Um, and it showed particular Like, when she was in Singapore and she was acting, right? I felt like, okay, it feels very heartfelt. Yeah. But then like when she's in Korea, right, it feels a little bit like overacting in some scenes. And it I don't know if it's just like it has a very media cop sensibility the way that she like yeah. was so, sometimes it, and it floats out, right? Yeah. And then like, sometimes then it's like okay, you I can cover tell, up. No, yeah. it's like sometimes you can tell it's acting and sometimes you can tell it's real. Okay. Like yep. whereas the, the the acting of the security guard Ajushi, right? It's well, them solidly yep. like yeah, yeah. throughout and it feels very real. You yeah. don't feel like you're watching him acting. He's yeah, just yeah. that character. You're right, you're right. Yeah, so there was this like a bit of weirdness. I In think sense. I think the maybe I can kind of like square that away because for the most part in Korea she can't speak the language. The, there's another aspect of the movie that I quite like was that um, there's a lot of communication done without words and mm -hmm. there was a lot of scenes within it right that you can feel like yeah. as they are struggling to communicate with each other there's a lot of things that's also like fairly universal mm -hmm. and then they get it instantly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. That um, I think that came across pretty well done. The the overacting right could be a natural consequence of maybe because you feel like you cannot talk to people there, then you need to be like more bombastic in your in your overall demeanor. I, I don't. I, I mean, no, 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 not not like over enthusiastic, but it's just a sense of. It it, it feel, it's like a layer on top of it. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't quite gel. Right. Yeah. I, I mean you're possibly that right, that right that. La, but for me it's like uh my 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 sense is that I, I square that away with mm. um the, the lack of communication uh, for, for me personally. What do you think? Maybe we have John? maybe because all of us are brought up with our fair share and fair diet of channel eight uh, we are, heritage and drama. <laughs> so that sometimes comes into us as well. You know, it's a like, bit hard to shake no, off. Is it okay, like you if you think about like the early days of our local television, you know right. like Tofu and stuff yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah. the acting is very different. Yeah. And and very natural. It's like, much more Q seat. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I don't know I don't know how to explain it, but like it feels like you are just watching the character live their lives. Yep. Then like in the later parts, I think in the nineties, uh 20s and then like right now until now yep, like it yep. just became like this very overproduced um strange way of acting yeah. where you can just tell it's acting fully agree i don't understand what like what the fuck went on but I mean, like if you look at the court history like back to sbc and tc mm -hmm. times in the, in the late 80s and early 90s they brought in a lot of the hong kong producers yeah. and directors mm. right yep. so, there was a lot of, oh my god, the Tucson. Yeah, there was a lot of control, of... or rather, there was a lot of uh, professional, oh uh, professionals moving in and out. Mm. Uh, they they whip us into shape, basically. Yeah, exactly. yeah. That's yeah. why as as Hong Kong was successful, we were successful at yeah, the same exactly. time. Exactly. And Hong Hui Fang were the one of the actors that thrived in that mm. system. You yeah, see. and she, yeah. I I would say her early acting was really good. Yep. Then later you see all these media corp dramas, right? And then she's just acting like. Hey, I Somebody's could, mother. Yeah, like, no, it's not even just the roles, it's just the way that the acting is done. Yeah, yeah. Then you just like, eh, hey, but you could do this. But how come like this? Yeah, you know, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and now you go back to seeing her in this role where you are like, oh, okay, wow, she really can. Yeah, and, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And like, which is very unfortunate like, because a lot of the acting opportunities yeah. here is by Mediacorp, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. yeah. Can I say something 
Nor can not. Nor can not. Nor can not. Nor can not. No, no, no can do. Oh wow! Youch. Right. Um. I did still feel that she is the main character. Okay. No, yeah. I don't. Uh, have before. That okay. So before that, right? There's actually a very relevant question. Do the LKK feel that Hong Kui Fang deserves the award nomination? Um, of leading actress. Uh. That's why I asked the question, you know, does it feel like she, she's more of a support character than a main character? Because mm. as much as I, I agree with you guys that, you know, the multiple characters and multiple threats, right, it's very disorienting to the story, I almost feel more invested in poor guy and his own shark and his family, mm. you know, than the main movie itself. I don't know if that's cause of her acting or, or the way that the story is written. I, I think it's right. probably, for me, I feel partly it's because there is not enough options for her dialogue. Yep. You know, if, if, they have, if they have eliminated the family of the poor guy, right? And kept him in, in the road trip movie most of the time, there will be someone she can talk to. You know? mm. But... For ex- I mean, but I don't think dialogue is the main thing because remember like Tiong Baro Social Club, right? The main character hardly talked. Yeah. But he carried the show so well. You know, he, he had almost He's zero. He's just like a guy that is there to He's push He's just like forward. projecting his face and his yeah, like, yeah, yeah. body. Like, so I don't know if that's the case. But um, I would say that she could have had a stronger presence yeah. is what I Okay, think. then Wong, the, the question is, do you think the Hong Hui Fang deserved the award nomination? You mean, do I think Chen Li Ping deserved the... <laughs> oh whoa, 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 whoa. That's it. It's like that. Get the fuck out. We don't need you. Get the fuck so out now. You it's like me, 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 Mediacorp oh AI go, go wrong like that. Yes, I told you my theory already. You won't believe me. It's Chen Li Ping AI with the face and the deep face. It's a deep fake video. <laughs> Oh my god. This is some chat GPT gone wrong bullshit. Man. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Uh, I just feel like, um, well, I, I, it's hard for me to say whether she deserved it or not because I don't know the, the strength. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I, I'm yeah. proud that that a Singaporean auntie, you know, in her Singaporean auntie role could win something like that. Do you think yeah. it's like a a polite award kind? Like, oh, okay, we did a no, production no, no, with no. like Singapore, then we have to kind of put it in some kind of nomination. I do think they, they, they actually deserve it. Uh, de- yeah. She deserved the nomination. I think yeah. I think she, her, I th- she, deserved she was pretty solid, yeah. I would say. Yeah, yeah, she was definitely yeah. solid, but you know, like what I'm saying is the way the way they position the story, right, makes it feel like she's almost a yeah. secondary character, yeah. which is a pity. Uh, to you me. have to understand Golden Horse, uh, which is like the Chinese Oscars, mm. right? Because for the past few years, they ex- uh the mainland Chinese films are not participating due to political Correct. controversy. Oh, right. mm-hmm. That gives a lot of opportunities mm. for Malaysian, Singaporean, right. mm. or, or any regional Chinese films to participate. Right. All the right. all the Hua Chao yeah. better rise up, man. Correct, correct. Mm. So it's now that we're on the subject of politics. Do you think Mr. Tour Guide and Tour Guide's secondary story arc was put there specifically because the director uh Shumi wanted it there? Or because of some collaborative aspect, she was uh, kind of forced or obliged to put it there. That is an excellent question. I don't know, but that will make quite a lot of sense actually. Right. Yeah. It's a it's a kind of like a theory that puts everything in the neat little bowl, but I don't think so. So the reason I say that right is because the the story itself right needs that secondary kicker to drive it to high gear so the point where everything falls apart right was at exactly at the point where the tour guide operator went like when deliberately went off course to visit the family uh to give uh some gifts to the mother-in-law so that she can give it to her daughter which is his either current wife or ex-wife or about to be divorced wife so the that that part right is he purposely deviated. He told the bus driver, "Hey, get off the get off the track." Then Avet um went to the. T- so there was another thing that happened, which is just nice. The hotel that they were supposed to go to, uh, went under mm-hmm. renovation. But this this hotel uh, this information was not conveyed to the rest of the to the tour mm-hmm. people, and hence when the Arushi the security guard tried to help out, the most logical thing was, oh yeah, I know which hotel they are going to, so I'm going to send her to this hotel. Then turns out it was under renovation, so there was a lot of miscom that happens along the way lah. But the central thing was. 
the tour guide had to force uh, not say force lah, but he told the bus driver hey take this detour i'm going to visit my family mm. before we go to the actual hotel which is not communicated to everybody else mm. then that's when arjuma she was like oh i can't hear you properly let me get off the bus so she went off uh took the phone call called her son when she saw the bus took off without her just as the tour operator came back to the bus and you know his mind is in a haze and completely scattered brain right he's like okay let's get the fuck out here then after that Ajuma was just like ah no stop please then after that's when the, the convenient phone breakage happened which by right shouldn't nah. the fucking I drop phones like that all the time and didn't fucking shatter into a million pieces oh, the car oh, the drove car over. over oh the car ran over the car okay. ran yeah, over yeah yeah, yeah the car ran but over. even the car ran over it also does oh. it break like that? But, but at the same oh, time, right? For the purposes right? of a story, yeah. it does. Okay, like yeah, movie right. physics. Okay. Yeah, movie physics, yes, yes. But, yes. but also, I remember when she was running, uh, the phone was flung out of her hand. So it went pretty far. Yeah, it's not. You know, when I saw it go, I'm like, there's no way look, like, anyone drops a no, like Nobody, that. yeah. No, like, she, nobody was like, like, she, was like, she was like running after, you know, like, then. It's, you know, it's just then she... a bit unreal. La. I mean, yes, I, I understand that for the movie plot purposes, you need to break the phone. But yeah. like, that was a bit like. Too much too there's, convenient. Too, there's a lot yeah. of movie logic like, in this. yeah 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 the, the, the fact that they he will miscount and don't see her in the bus right itself is already yeah and also I, I mean that one I can kind of understand because he just had an unpleasant right, right, interaction right, right, right. with the mother-in-law yeah. maybe his mind is not all there yeah. but like the whole thing about like I don't know. Maybe she could have taken a fall and like smashed the phone, you know, instead of like, blah, blah, and then it just like flips that way. But anyways, that's just like very like minor nitpicking. Mm-hmm. Uh. I mean, they could like, so going back to the original uh, Dan Wong's point, which is, is there a meta narrative as to why this particular story arc was shoehorned into this movie? I don't know. Probably not. Uh, that's, that's my guess. Lah. Uh, they at end of the day because it's a Korean movie, they still need that Korean aspect yeah, to yeah. it, and it cannot just be Ajushi and his dead dog. So then, <laughs> <laughs> so that wouldn't that wouldn't move the story anywhere, right? So the, the there needs to be like another counter, like uh, another countervailing force, right? It's like a, a separate entity that will kick the movie into high gear, I which almost, are the loan sharks. Uh. I almost wish, right, instead of the loan sharks, you know, like, tour guides always bring you to those shops where you have to buy yeah. shit. Oh, man, yeah, imagine, that would be so cool. Imagine, yeah. right, if the, if the tour guide... Chicken. Yeah, imagine if the tour guide, right, did this thing where he was pocketing the money instead or whatever, and then the, the local, yes. like, people were, like, then fucking unhappy with him, so, like, Damn. took him out for a beating or whatever. I think that would have made a lot more sense for the movie because, yes. like, it just... And you should have been there to give that <laughs> idea. Yeah. I, it's and, great. And by the way, can I get some money for this post like yeah. production thing <laughs> I, I 100% I hundred percent support your idea because right all these tour guys all these tour bus thing always very shady yeah, shit yeah, no, they bring you to this oh like God. particular shop and you can only shop in the end it's like fucking sweet shit right mm. that is locally produced and from this way and wow. then the prices are inflated right and you know they definitely get a cut from you on yep, yep, so yep, yep. like it would have made sense because he is a tour guy and he's not he's quite shady right so that makes a lot more sense than the actual plot that we were given, where like it, it's not even part of the movie. Yeah. I guess the the, the challenge there will be how to separate Ajuma from the rest of the tour guide. But I I'm, I believe right that first of all, Angie, your suggestion. Okay, you are now superior, Angie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> superior to oh who? Oh my god, I don't I've know. leveled up. She. Yeah. Uh, and I, I also think that that I think narratively works out better. Like it did. It's not the narrative shortcut anymore. That's yeah, like yeah, that's yeah, like yeah, an yeah. actual thing that's going on. Yep. We don't need to insert any like little girls, little daughters. We don't need to have the grumpy mother-in-law. We don't need to have the jaded, uh, divorcing wife. That can be just a very self-contained, all-in-one package that can be resolved before the end of the movie. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Oh, I just wanted to shout out to one scene. Actually, that was my favorite scene. Apart from the. <laughs> Sigina Yao Sukya one. Really, I love that part. Anyways, um, it's this scene where the Ajushi brought her to eat soup after she was lost. Right, right, right. And then and they then were watching TV. They and, were watching TV yeah, yeah. and then like it was his relatives or, or mm, something. And mm. it was just a, like, a very small yeah. little scene where they were just talking about life and yeah. like, oh, okay, la la la, this and that. And that scene was just very... Mm, yeah, mm, I agree. It's very small and it's almost inconsequential to the whole plot. Right. But that feeling there... Right, but was, you remember that, you Yeah, see? it yeah. was... Wow, oh my this god. This is it called slice of, slice of Life. Yeah, 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 exactly. Of, yeah. But that, that, that portion was yeah. like... I was just watching it I was like... I wish there was more of these. 
you know. Yeah, I think uh, the limited communication also helped. Yeah, the, yeah, the language right, barrier yeah, and how yeah. they over, you know, they well, didn't really overcome it, but it, it, it was just so. Um, There's something very universal yes, because she understood yes. what was going on yeah. even without words. Mm-hmm. You know, so that, like, was, that was very like impactful scene like, for mm-hmm. me. That was my favorite scene, I think, of the whole movie. Superior Jonathan, yes. How would you change the movie if you have like one creative, <laughs> one creative moment. aspect? Uh, I, f- I don't know. Do you all feel the same? But I felt the Singapore scenes, right, especially at the start, was super choppy, and uh, it's like out of nowhere. Okay, we few go to Korea already. Right? There's not even a plane no, flying no, or what, no, and it's no, like no, Changi no. Airport, <laughs> Korean Airport. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bunch so, of, bunch of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the Singapore cannot get clearance s- to to film the flying part. <laughs> yeah, I I would say I I can't think of many other things, but I would say the Singapore scenes, both at the start and the end, because those are bookends, right? Should be a little bit more well finessed, especially the ending where she mm-hmm. starts singing in the car. Oh yeah, and it was I it don't was know like what was going on there. there. Yeah, I reclaim my yeah. like woman who or whatever, which is okay, but it was not properly. Done. Done. Yeah. Yeah. All this like it should be like a giveaway, you know, Hong Wei Fang should have just killed it. What was very funny for yeah. me is like I, I the the starting scenes where there were aunties like exercising yeah, and yeah. stuff and then the market Oh scene, I, I missed was, that. I missed that. Yeah, I was it late was, for it. Oh you were like late, right? Okay, yeah. so so it, it just uh, for me it was like, ha, is this the the embodiment of Singaporeanness, like everywhere got like old people exercising. Correct, correct. <laughs> like, it's all very now? perfunctory, you see. Uh, yeah. Can I ask this question? Because I missed the start. Was there an Asian coal cooing in yes, the background in the so. beginning? I it think was there. So. I, think I, I think I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we yeah. stop that shit? Singaporean no, directors, no, please no. stop that fucking shit. Keep it, keep it, keep Dude, it is so Singaporean. No, it's it not. Is. The fucking Asian it coal is. spans from India <laughs> to all the way to Indonesia. It's not a Singaporean bird. Okay, wait. Dude. I hate that bird, by the way. You know what happened? I was at my friend's house. We were drinking till like six in the morning. I was standing by the roadside until almost six forty-five, trying to catch a cab, right? And then at six something, right, the the coal just started ooh serenading us while we were standing there. there. And I was like, oh my god, this is such a Singaporean moment, mm. you know? like it, it's just the quintessence. Every Singaporean movie, from but you cannot the Apprentice all the way to no look. Hey, I, okay, this okay, non-movie gripe, but this is my gripe, okay? <laughs> roosters are roosters are being complained. Okay, there's chicken roosters being complained. They lay eggs, they can be a portable source of food, you know. Portable right? source of food. Right. So all what they do, they are brute parasites. They don't do shit, but people <laughs> celebrate them. No no Fuck wait, you wait, guys, okay? Wait. <laughs> Sorry. Nobody's celebrating it. It's just there. We should start featuring authors. It, oh my god, you're like those good those Christian people, like the the gay people are just there, yeah. then you're like, hey, you're celebrating yeah. the gayness. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. What about roosters? What about roosters? Roosters are there as well. Like, roosters are not in? roosters are not in my neighborhood, it's just in select neighborhoods. Right? I don't hear the sound of a cockerel every morning, but I hear the sound of a coal every morning. That doesn't even make sense, man. Yeah. I replace roosters as for gay people. No, no, your, no your, it is your. Don't it is, make sense. It, Jerry, it is in fact your argument that does not make sense. Yeah. But I, I'm glad, right, that Jerry finally uh, stood on one side of the fence. Yeah. No yeah, yeah, yeah. On yeah, for the first for the first time ever. About instead cool. of instead of be like oh, I don't know, close or not close. Huh? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I see both sides. I see of both the story. sides. Yeah. <laughs> All I know is that from now on, I'm gonna, I'm never gonna rig roll you. I'm gonna coel roll you. I'm gonna be like, hey, Jerry, listen, this is a sound clip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Every time like Jerry comes in, we just do the woo. Okay, can okay set. Instead of your monkey noises. <laughs> okay, that's not funny anymore. No, it's super funny. Okay, uh, what is the sound of a monkey X coel. No, we don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fail. Okay, Jerry, how would you change the movie? How would I change the movie? Actually, I would say, in general, I think the loose ends are untied is fine. But uh, the one thing that really I thought was uh, they really tempted through was the confession by the son. Yes. Yeah, I really thought they tempted through it, and uh, it could have been done in a more subtle way. Mm-hmm. Uh, if, I mean, uh, Hong Hui Fang's characters. Um, trying to kind of brush it off casually, right? She she already kind of that the energy is there. They they could have just gone with you know maybe she's asking okay instead of asking all those technical questions, she could be asking does he treat you well? 
you know, like what kind of yeah, technical like, question? Like, does he treat you well? You know, he treats you well, right? Like Sub-text. straight away, she's like go blow past the entire, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. and straight away. Wait, wait, what 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 questions did she ask? I don't quite remember. The yeah, uh, 是不是开白色车那一个？ Oh, ah, right. right. So she, she asked the technical to questions. Confirm whether right? it's a guy. Or but she doesn't have to. It, it, in that sentence, if they change the script to "ta tui ni hao ma," she it would have it would have、uh, told the audience that she know everything. She completely knows her son. There's no secret. It's just that he's not telling her, and straight away she's like accepted already. You know,、mm. it, it could have been yeah, yeah. done a lot yeah, yeah. more gently, okay, la. I feel, okay, yeah,、right. instead of because we already established in early in the before she went to Korea early in the、uh, movie, we already established the son is probably gay, right? And it could be just you know she she could have had that moment where yeah you know I know already I know already. You know? Okay, I think for for me, let me sim for that particular sim. Um, that's actually that's one of my favorite scene. Also, I don't think it's really like that ham fisted true. I mean, certainly it's just like I'm gay. Like that's that's no good. But <laughs> but then ah,、uh, but here's the thing. Um, <laughs> stop laughing. You the more you laugh, I just <laughs> you laugh. I also you know I lost my train of thought. Okay, so my my feeling is of that scene the. She knows, but she wants to deny. She doesn't want to accept the reality that her son is probably gay. And I think the the worst of the realization was that I don't want my son to be lying to me. So there is there is that aspect of it. I don't think the I don't think there needs to be a a scene that elevates her that much more. I just want the son to be not such a fucking prick、mm, at the、yeah. start. So. This is more like slice、yeah. of life. I I don't need this these characters to be superheroes. I don't want them to be the most magnanimous. Be- I want them to be real people facing real problems, and I want them to have real reactions, which is、mm. what she probably delivered. I feel like that is a very typical Asian parent reaction. Yes, like they don't address the issue, then they ask like some other thing. Yeah. Kind of thing, and then they just brush it off like、yeah. it's no big deal, and then they get really like fucked up about it on the inside. But then like they will just ask you, "Super Mario?" Yeah. Because、right. <laughs> oh, no, no, she. No, not even Super Mario. It's like bring food to you, like cut fruits for you. You know, I、right. eat、yeah. this. They、table. just walk away. Yeah, I don't even talk to at you. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, it's like showing that they care, but at the same、but、time, I'm just too pissed at yeah, you. Yeah, I'm too pissed at you. You know. Actually,、yeah. adding to what John said. Actually, the Singapore scenes, right? The slice of life element is really not strong enough. Yeah,、I、it think needed、so. to be more close. I I would think that like <laughs> we needed more of the close to be more slice of life. I feel like a hundred and twenty minutes would have been good for this movie, so that there's a I, bit more. I I think、like, you will, people will watch gladly watch the thirty like, minutes、yeah. more of it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I the minimum is near another twenty minutes. I be, I believe minimum is another, like even if it goes on for like an extra forty minutes, right? To like hash out a lot of the the narrative shortcuts that is taken, it would have been like easily nine out of ten for me. Yeah.、Um, I, yeah. I, my contra point is, I don't think it needs to be longer, but I think the script needs to be better.、Mm. Yeah, the character. Either or, lah. Yeah. Yeah, the characters need more、yeah. compact. There should be less characters. Uh, mm. You know, trying to interfere with、uh, the the main character stories. As long as the script is tighter, maybe a hundred minute runtime. It's time to pick up the phone, Jerry. Could be that.、Like, could be ICA. <laughs> it's Hong Weifang <laughs> calling you. <laughs> oh, it's Hong Weifang. Chen Jiping. How dare you say I'm dead? Ah, you, you, 老师 Oh, lao. I think I think Singapore film producers and directors <laughs> come out with a vehicle for Chen Jiping. Yeah. 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 Another like. Actually, Female I character and girl. Oh, stop the defamation! <laughs> eh, but I feel like Chen Li Ping should have a show on her own. She's actually a pretty solid actress. She do like a Ayu Yu 老师 right? But, oh my god, like, like a fifty year old, old and, and she's like. No, like, oh, oh my god! Like, imagine right, Jack Neo di- directing this. Oh, is, is oh no. no! Wait, hear me out. Ayu Yu 老师 go Abi no! Wait, hear me out. Hear me out. It is Ayu Yu 老师 right? In the current educational system, right, and then、right. she's suffering because, like, okay, there's ageism. She doesn't how know how to use the fucking computers to do like <laughs> Zoom classes, and then right, like, like her 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 colleagues are like just very 
young, you know, young and whatever. And then she's no longer slim and Zoom. pretty. <laughs> then the students no longer connect, connect to her because she's not a young and pretty thing that sings, ah, Tong Shia Men or whatever shit. <laughs> right? And then she's just struggling in this educational system that fucks up all the kids. You know? And, and, and then... Uh... Holy shit, wait. Somebody continue it. I, I, I wait, I, I, I just got this epiphany thing. What if, right, the Ayuyo as a as an actress quits the actressing job and becomes an actual teacher <laughs> only to face the reality of teaching in, like, the real hey, world? Wait, right? Ayuyo Laosu, was she pretending to be a teacher or she was she No, she was a real teacher. She was a real, was a real teacher. teacher. Yeah. But once, oh, okay. like, it's like oh, a meta... It's a meta, 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 yeah. meta, meta oh, narrative God. about <laughs> you... Quitting, quitting being an actress, then oh God, decided God. to go into actual That'd teaching. That would be fucking hilarious. Dude, that's pretty sick, man. That's fucking <laughs> insane. Imagine, I, imagine I, Yoyo, say, oh, I'm so inspired by the acting that I did on this show about being a teacher. I want to dedicate my life oh my to goodness. students and enriching their lives. That's, that's like Lee Nan Singh, right? <laughs> he, he think he's really the two one, right? And then he, he, he goes to Genting Highland and he gambles and then he bankrupts himself. <laughs> oh, and then he has yeah. to like go and, like do like hey, wait, is that a real is that a real thing that, that's a real that's a real story oh, yeah. no, 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 no. it really happened yeah, it really happened really like off are like you he, he really went to Genting and there will be Holy crowds shit. surrounding because of they his they were waiting for him to do this yeah <laughs> but he just like sucks la, and then he oh just my gamble. god yeah. that sucks yeah. so this is the best story yeah yeah, yeah, yeah I want to see an IOU Lao Su version of this oh, oh my god that's hilarious fucking meta shit. Wow. just like as you say that right then I'm just like thinking, just oh my god <laughs> what and we need like a like a really competent director to like pull this I off I feel like to, the like... Baru social club yeah 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 yeah, 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 Tan Bitiam. Yeah, Tan yeah. Tiam. If you're listening to our podcast still, because I know you listen to our review, right? You know, like, please make this Ayu Lao Su meta story a, a reality, you know? Yeah. But does he have to pay royalty rights to TCS or what? Just probably, okay. yeah, probably. Pro- probably. No, no, no. The, the, Ayu, then yo. we can, we can, we can move, we can go around there, right? You can be like, Yo, yo, I, Lao Su. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, yo, 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 I, trademark, then. Okay. Okay, that's right, that's right. You can just like, Loosely reference it, yeah, oh, and you right, skirt through right, it already. Right, yeah, right. that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, hey, which was the movie that we review, and then they they actually kind of re- reject our review. Uh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 that. Yeah. What was that autistic movie one? They also kind of like shared our thing, I think. Oh, autistic movie. I let imagine. I let imagine. Oh, let imagine. Yeah. oh, did they? I think they did also. I yeah. remember. Yeah. I, I think I was in. But theirs is like. But theirs is like quite late into the year. They did it like six months after. The review. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I was on that review with you guys. Was I? Mm, I can't remember. I also cannot remember. I, I, yeah. You might have been. But that was. I think that was the one that. Like yeah. After you heard yeah, it, then yeah. you're just like, oh my like, god, I want to be yeah, guy. I want to be part of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. All right, we should thank Alan. Imagine that. Yeah, 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 we should, we should. So for hooking up. Uh, oh, well, the, was the first movie you did with us, Jimami Tofu? Jimami Tofu. Yeah, oh my yeah, god, yeah. the first one was the most epic one though. Yeah. Instantly becomes superior, John. We should watch that film. <laughs> Is no. it? Uh, I'm Please not no. gonna fucking spare any more money on the shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. sorry. No. Yeah, actually, there are quite a few. Uh, Do not suggest piracy no, or no, 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 BitTorrent yeah. or anything. Hey, but there are on some the on platform. Netflix, right? Like local films we could review, actually. Yeah, there's a lot. What about Circle Line? Shall we watch Circle Line next? Yes, we should watch Circle yeah. Line. Let's do that. Let's yeah. do that. Oh my gosh. It's uh, a monster movie. It's a monster movie that takes place in the Circle Line. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. even hear about this. Holy crap. Okay, okay. No, no, let me imagine I didn't. It's the Peter Yu one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The one where he yeah. runs naked on a treadmill. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just standing For no good reason. <laughs> next year, a lot of Singapore films. Yeah, yeah. He that's was saying that there's going to be again another um, Jack Neil film. About, du- about, <laughs> about Durian Plantation. It's coming out like this. The Mark Lee on it. Mark Lee is in there as well. Okay. Oh yeah, I want. Okay, let's do the Mark Lee one for sure because it's called Ge- Ge- Lang. Ge Lang. There's a film. There's a thriller, pot boiler thriller called Ge Lang. Okay. That, what is a pot boiler thriller? Like intense and like. Oh okay. Like crime kind of. All right. Thriller kind of thing. Any questions on YouTube? Currently no. The, uh, why is there so much static noise? I'm sorry, guys, but we will we'll fix it. Because we'll we got no money. Because John John will fix it. I mean, we, right. we got a, we got like a kind of like a yeah. We'll we'll, uh, we'll open a Patreon and then you guys can throw money at us. <laughs> then we'll fix it. Yes, peace. Okay. 
Oh, uh, but um, mm, okay. Yeah. So then, what's your moment that you would change? Okay, so you guys have said most of the stuff already. So I'll, I'll just I was what I was going through my head is. I just want to know what happens if we Hollywoodize the movie just a little bit more. Like if you sell it to Hollywood? Or oh, no, if or you sprinkle the essence oh, right, of right. Hollywood over what it just mean? a little bit. So it can be anything uh, shallow ranging from guns and knives, you know? Like there's like, you know, in the, in the chase scene, oh there's somebody God. leans up, you know, <laughs> pop, 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 pop. <laughs> I really oh, thought of oh it. Oh my god! Yeah, you know that maybe that's how the dog could have died. You know, like he yeah, joined them in the yeah. in the chase scene. And what like John Wick? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> you know, like it, he leaned the he leaned his head out of the window. The dog and he's like, <laughs> and then boom, 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 the dog died like that. Jesus! <laughs> this is how the Hollywood intro will start with, right? Right, right, right. right. Crane shot that from like sky all the way into the the HDB upbeat music. <laughs> Chin, chin, chin. My, my name is Stan Malian. I am 65. I am, I'm 59 this year. I am an ordinary housewife. Cut to close. Up. <laughs> Normally, I like to watch like, Korean drama. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You might be wondering how I got here. <laughs> yeah. But if a Hollywood dance version, right, it will be a white woman who is into K pop, right? And then, like, the K pop stars are in, in the US, and then the K pop stars get lost and then get into her car, and then there's a gunfight and explosions and shit. Uh, but and it could okay, so that's the shallow part of it, which I I, I think would be fun. Uh, but maybe I was thinking another thing about the Hollywood script is that the primary arc and secondary arc would resolve each other. And I, I think Ooh, you guys know what, yeah. you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, right? yeah, Somehow yeah. it's just like a crash. Yep, yep, thing, yep, yep. Yeah, so the arcs will resolve each other, and the re- redemption is very overt. Yes. Yeah. So somehow there'll be something that uh, Ajuma and Ajushi will do that will cause the tour guide's problems to be resolved and. You know the the ending is very wrapped up. And, you know no. they need to, they need to do a diamond heist to pay off his debt. <laughs> <laughs> they like the the two oldies. They just right, need, right, need right. to like plan to rob the bank and just like the worst possible plan. Then it all fails, but no, somehow no, no, they okay. all pull it pull you know it together what? at the they, last they moment. They will rob the 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 boss of the tour company because he's been like I'm I'm fairly right. profiting. And then you know you have to work have the work element. He's been mistreating his employees by underpaying them. Which is why they have no money, right? To 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 live, and that's why he had to take a, a loan shark loan, mm. right? So then they resolve that by robbing that bloody fucker of his money mm. and giving it to everybody like a fucking Robin Hood. Actually, Jerry is right. I think what ho- Hollywood would do, right? If let's say they were to produce this, right, is that they will give you a very concrete goal, yeah. which is like I'm going to go there. I mm. am absolutely adamant on finding yeah. this K-pop star, mm. Mm. and all these things are holding me back. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. go and do this one thing at this one place, and there's yeah, gonna yeah. be a conflict, correct, correct. preventing right. me from doing this thing. And there's gonna be a happy ending at the end. Yeah, yeah. It's always gonna there's end. No, like no vig- vigness. Yeah, there's no vigness. Like, you know, ending, American yeah. American audiences are not Happily smart enough to understand. After. Actually, I, I was Jesus, I was thinking a lot of uh, Jerry. No. Oh my God. <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> have you watched True Lies? All of you are so oh spicy to. Yeah. So something like that, you know, like Ajuma is, is really out of her depth. So this is out of her depth in a slightly more realistic manner. But in True Lies, it's super fantastically out of depth, depth right? Uh, then the last thing is, uh, I'm just wondering also, is it possible to like, do a bit of tokenism here? Like, who, who, which character is possible to into it, into a Malay, into a Polish. <laughs> well, like, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I would think of something like that if I was the producer, right? I mean, this is a Singaporean and... You can't just like, I mean, no, you can't just like... Like let's just sprinkle in maybe the gay lover is. Oh, like. There's something where they just put 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 them in tokenism. Anyway, this is why. Uh. All right, we got anything else we want to add uh, in terms of the movie review? Uh, maybe we start with Superior Jonathan. I I feel right. Uh, despite all the plot flaws that we pointed out. I do think that this film has very high replayability. Yes. Yeah. And I think that... I mean, we shit on it like this whole one hour. Correct, but actually, correct. the reason we shit great. on it is because it is so it has so much potential correct, to be so correct. much Please greater. Please don't forget our initial rating yes. for this film. It's actually super it's enjoyable. High. Everything in Korea is like, it's magical. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that we as a society, we should actually petition, right, to turn this into a local classic, right? By like getting Mediacorp, Chinese New Year or anytime, right? Just play it on TV. Yeah. So, will, that, yeah. I will. so that people, they will be like, hey, it's Ajuma, let's watch it. It's like Home Alone, yeah. it's like Stephen Chow films. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a decent movie. Like. It's a, yeah. actually pretty enjoyable. I, I actually really like the car chase scene for some reason. Uh. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's enjoyable. Yeah, it's yeah, got it's everything. It's got a little bit of rom com. Yeah. It's yeah. comedy. Yeah. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know road trip. It's yeah. got car chase. It's action. I don't like how it led up to it, but I like yeah, the yeah, 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 correct, correct, yeah. yeah. 
Alright. Anybody else? Please pay money and watch this in the cinemas. Mm. I really, really think this is one of the one of the films that we should really support with our money. Yeah. Not like some other films. Uh, as of now, I think Kaleba Quarter uh, Shaw still has a lot of screen. Yeah, I but think Projector as well probably still has that. I th- maybe. If I'm not wrong. Maybe. Yeah. Mm. Anybody else? Then you got anything to say? Can I go last? Go last, that means I'm going next lap. Um, yeah, overall, like I, like what everyone else said, I think it's actually a pretty enjoyable film. Uh, but I, at the same time, right, if you're not the slice of lifestyle fella, uh, you might not enjoy this if film. If you it, want Hollywood blockbusters, yeah, if it's you, not for you. Yeah, if you want something like very clear and concrete. Like there are some people, uh, if you don't feed them the all of the details on the plate, right, like in an exposition heavy style, they don't understand anyone. They're just like, huh? What's going on? How come like this? How come they never get together? How come uh, there's still... Like, they, they can't get... Okay, then this Very film... Funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Yo, uh, Jerry, why today? Oh, is it because you've been drinking? That's why you're Maybe? like... We need to get you drunk every yeah, episode. Probably, at yeah. Too fucking spicy. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, if you... You will lose your name or the fans if you continue it, this. If you need everything spoon fed to you, this is not a good film for you. But if you like the slice of life style, style, mm. style uh, I think this movie is like pretty good. Okay, so here's the part where I, I deliver the stunning blow. Okay, <laughs> Jesus, I'm gonna cut you off. I'm gonna cut off your mic now. Which Another one? word about Chen Li Ping. I was met you. I haven't watched Arjuna yet. <laughs> you know, actually, everyone expected Chen Li Ping to be we expected it actually. You, know, you see, you see, and he got no reaction. John got no reaction. I think only superior John like. Come, come! I'm trying to see if it's, is it real or not, and I'm trying to backtrack everything that he said. Whether is it like, you know how some people can they, they can just like say yeah. some things yeah. and you're like, oh you're, up, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was careful not. Oh, I was I was careful not to slip up and give it away. So all my comments were very um, meta or very talking about uh, the generic script or you know things like that. Yeah, I'm not you surprised know, at all. You know how I know because I know he's busy last week. <laughs> it's not even that. It's just because mm. we've been co-hosts for how many years? Five years? Four seven? Years? Seven years? Seven years? Oh, it would have been our sixth year next year. Oh, yeah, six serious? years. Six oh, years. Fuck. Yeah, it's fast. Yeah, yeah. I'm just. No longer surprised by anything yeah. that one does. I'm sorry, Dan Wong. Oh, Do you feel sad about no. it? You want a more, ex- more like expression? <laughs> oh, oh my no. god, I can't believe you did that, Dan Wong. Like, you, oh my every god. single Long Kang Kitty here has that deadpan expression because we know. No wonder you couldn't tell the difference between Hong Hui Fang and Chen Yi Ping because you didn't watch the movie. <laughs> No, that was a legit joke. That was a legit joke. Because <laughs> I, I know our audiences would, would appreciate it. Yeah. No, Are you even that, no, that Are no, you like some version not. of AI Dan Wong? I mean, this is the guy that gets very upset, right, when we say Spencer is an imaginary friend and all the bullshit that he claims Spencer did is actually by him. Then he will come into the Longkang Kiddies, the recording, and then just be like, ah, I didn't watch it. Ah, oh, why don't you have a greater reaction? It's like, fuck all that Like, the, your your jokes are 2002 okay no no <laughs> and the and the and the Cry. and the brains behind it are 1996 so, okay. so does so, does your student understand your jokes because it was it, 2002 is before they were born right if you really want to know know that they, they, they don't and I'm a bit sad about it that's why I'm learning all the lingo right now to keep up with them you know to form some kind of name slay two. <laughs> name, <laughs> name, sure name slay two it. lingo from the gen whatever that is gen, gen Z. Z what's two lingo I have to from Gen Z. Yeah. Oh, you must say bussin'. Bussin'. That shit be bussin'. Sheesh. Explain what it means. It just means like very good, uh, like very awesome. Uh. Okay, and then another one? Okay, yeah, another one is, uh, oh, he be the making bank, bro. Bank, making bank. Bank? Bank, bank is, is very wait, old. Eh. Wait, that's like five years ago, minimum. At least five years ago. You're not putting in effort then, Mom. How are you connecting with your Gen Z students? Okay, so, so enough about that, Mom. We're gonna, we're gonna do... Some user submitted magical moments. Uh, we've, we've got two of <laughs> nice. them, so wow. it's pretty spicy also. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, why not? Okay, from blog user. Uh, it's close to the end of the year, so a bit of reflection for this magical moment. If there was a time travel machine for one direction only, which year would the LKK want to go? And knowing they can never return to our present time, why would they want to go there? 
So I already read this I, and I'll answer first so you'll have time to do anything about it. Wait, wait. I will... Any time in history yep. and we cannot come back here. Yep. Okay. I'll go one million years into the future. I'm never coming back. Fuck all of y'all. I'm going to see either we are all burning in apocalyptic hell or we are living in the most ultimate utopia. I'm dying to find out which. Okay. Then I'll know that my life here is like solid. So I'm going one million years in the future. Fuck all of you guys. Okay. Next. Go in 2002 and find out whether the damage is Oh no! <laughs> you wasted your time! <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay, I want to go back to 2000, early 2000s anyway, you know, right? I, Why? I, I, I won my go back. Battery, so okay. Before this cell phone nonsense came about. Oh, really? Like, shit, oh, yeah. okay. So, uh, but unfortunately, I have to relive the entire growth of it once again. But, oh my god. Yeah, I would also be able to see whether that was funny. <laughs> Do you even. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Alright. Huh. This is tough. <clears throat> I mean, a boring answer. I uh, just go back to before Bitcoin was popular and buy the Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, okay, to... yeah, okay. Uh, Gen G, you're next. No, no, but, 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 but. <laughs> 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 Who do I really love? If you go back in time and stop Kurt Cobain from killing himself. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. wow. Why Kurt Cobain? I don't know, I just think he's cool. And he came to Singapore. He took a picture with Ronald McDonald and he put a cigarette in his mouth. <laughs> Alright. That's a legit reason. Maybe you go back, right? And then you are the reason that Kurt Cobain killed oh, himself. Shit. He's just like, oh my god, then your jokes are fucking shit. I need to kill. Yeah. I need to blow my brains out of the shotgun now. Alright. <laughs> your jokes are so goddamn. Oh, I didn't watch your concert at all, bro. <laughs> 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 I would like go go to like uh like SKP and buy him like a heart shaped box and then I will meet him and give him the heart shaped box. What's inside it? That's the name of the song <laughs> of the, the Yeah no no but what do you put inside the heart shaped box? Tea. Penny Royal tea. You know what you know what you should put? You should put <laughs> two fucking <laughs> No you should put two you should put two shotgun shells inside, alright? So oh that God! so that you bypass so you can use it already, alright? You fucking guy, you unfunny motherfucker you Your turn Eddie. Give up. I feel like if I had to, I can travel back in time. I would probably go back to the, the point at which like industrialization happened, and just watch human beings be like amazed by that shit. You want to feel superior to everybody else, is it? Is that... No, I I think it's just a very fascinating time in human history where we go from like being just human. To understanding that we can really manipulate the world around us. That's all. And then as you go there, and then you marvel at the wonders that man and has created, you die of cholera. Yeah, <laughs> and I die from some like shitty disease that has no. But you know what? I would know how to wash my hands right. with soap. Right, right. And boil yeah. the water. Yeah, I would be like the Doctor Lister, <laughs> but not share my knowledge. So I just watch everybody around me die. Yeah. Alright, Superior Jonathan, do you wish to answer this magical moment? Probably go back to year 2000. So year 2000 Why was like... Why 2K People were using Napster and everything. Oh my god, yeah. And then with the Time knowledge wire. of Facebook now, then I'll create Facebook then. Oh. 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 Then, yeah. Come and look for me and convince me to buy into your stocks. <laughs> <laughs> and you can buy Apple stocks. Uh, I'll be, yeah, I'll yeah, be 16 yeah, oh years old. God. I'll have like It'll maybe so $400 rich, in man. my bank. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we have one more. But everybody else, everybody answered already, right? Is this yeah. the is this the prime minister? One? Yes. Oh shit! It is, is the prime minister. What? This is fun. This is, this this is, is fun. very fun. What fun? Okay, here's here's from Cow Knight. This guy <laughs> never posts in the Discord. Came out of nowhere. Then came out of nowhere with one one whopper of a magical moment. Okay. <laughs> so it's like the whole point of him joining our Discord is to post the magical moment. It's possible. It? It's possible. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. So here it is. Okay. It's 2042. Robots and AI have taken over <laughs> most operations on the planet, on the Earth. The people have voted for data-driven robo prime minister, mm. okay, that can make decisions more objectively and effectively. LKK are tasked to find a new role slash task for the now suddenly obsolete Lawrence Wong to <laughs> oust him oh my God. gracefully. This is amazing. Okay. And he may not resist. What would it be? He may not resist. He may not resist. Interesting. Okay. So, 
He's gonna be working. Okay, once again, I've, I've already read this, so I have a formulated answer. Go first. He's gonna be the tour guide operator for Lee Kuan Yew's, <laughs> uh, the, the tomb where he was placed at the moment of his death. He's just gonna be like, oh, by the way, here is our founding father, Lee Kuan Yew. And then he's gonna talk all the wonderful things that Lee Kuan Yew has done. LKY tour. Yeah, he's gonna oh be my God. the LKY tour guy. Okay? He's gonna right. be there and he's gonna be talking wow. non-stop about Singapore's founding father. Because I read the, the post as well, I'll go next. Mm. Okay. So Lawrence Wong will I had to become one for four. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fuck Jerry, that was Oh amazing. no, that's even worse than mine. <laughs> He's funny. I've been thinking I've been thinking of it all night since I read that post, yeah. so <laughs> You had time for it to comment. Um Okay, I'll go next. Lawrence Wong. Okay, I think I'll, what I'll do is that I'll place him in a in a job where all he has to do is to answer questions from old people about technology. Because he's got this very measured way of speaking and he seems so patient <laughs> and I feel like he can connect with old people and treat them with loving kindness. So yeah. Oh, people he should also deal with the consequences technology. of his own action. All this technological bullshit yeah, that's uh, shoving down. Smart nation, right? And so all this know. smart nation thing, first of all, is too slow for all of us fast people, and then it's too fast for all the old people. It's like yeah. we are neither here nor there. So that will be the job for Lawrence Wong, like tech uh, guru for old people, for boomers. Mm. Yeah. So Superior John, all boomers are all dead, right? Yeah, but I mean, there will be more more people who are like, you know, not catching up to technology like myself. I don't even know how to use like TikTok. Hmm. I will be one of those people who be serving. You're going to call Lawrence Wong. Hey, bro, Mr. Wong. <laughs> how to use TikTok, bro. <laughs> uh, Mr. Lawrence Wong, can you help me out? I don't understand what this button on TikTok is supposed to do. I, I think I will... We, we need to give him a heroic pose. You know, one of those that... Wow. Like can can keep on speaking about the faded glory times <laughs> oh over and God. over again, but but there's no cringe to it. Wait, wait, about actually, himself or about like, about himself? Oh wow! Particularly the three years in the pandemic where he spearheaded the, wow. the, the mission, and then he will be like a television program where he will, the spotlight will just fall on him, and it's like I remember the times. Yeah, so wow. probably like a like a. Wow. Like a position like that, like a cultural so ambassador. Nice. You're or, so or nice something. to him. Yeah. Uh, you guys, you guys are being very nice because I've got a very gruesome fate in tender <laughs> for you. You're supposed to oust him gracefully, okay? Gracefully, uh, you mean grace. the word Yeah, mine, mine is quite graceful, okay? So, what we do, right, is that uh, we shouldn't have entirely 100% trust of our AI overlords. And I want Lawrence Wong to be the person to be the kill switch. Okay, so what we will do, right, is that we would uh, remove his brain and his head from his body, right, of surgically, course. and we'll connect it, right, into this, like, stasis kind of cube that will give him all the nutrition and everything, and then he's, he's just a, and then there'll be, like, spikes that will open his eyes, you know, so that he has to forever watch, and then we'll put him in a satellite alone, and then we'll let the satellite, you know, go around Earth. And wait, then, wait, wait, you took out his brain? Yes. So he becomes an eternal just... being that, that is in the satellite that will <laughs> fly around the Earth. What's, and, what's in the satellite? The body? Yeah, his brain, brain. Yeah, his brain. And the eyes. And his eyes, yeah. Yeah, so he's watching us. Right? He cannot talk. He cannot scream. Doesn't matter. He's only one function. That's that he's the kill switch. And if the AI overlords ever, like, fuck us over, right, he will just need to think the thought, right? And then the entire AI system will collapse and self-implode and destroy itself. (laughs) Wait, what's stopping the AI from destroying the satellite? No, the AI doesn't know. AI doesn't know. He's how like the, the secret weapon. How does the AI doesn't know? Lawrence Wong is the secret weapon <laughs> against our AI overlords. So in the event that they ever do anything that is fucked up, like he will come and save us all. And, but we will never know because he's like this lonely floating head he in space. He just sacrifices himself. himself like, yes. He, he will serve us eternally. Yeah. He, he, that's that's an even more heroic role than yeah. Superior John's one. So basically, Whatever. so basically, there's like a kill switch embedded into the AI that the AI will Don't know. When, whenever the AI thinks Lawrence Wong, it zzz, <laughs> then it re- reboot itself, and then it doesn't write into program. Basically, so, Lawrence Wong is Skynet. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, so, so the 
the way that you program the AI is like, what would Lawrence Wong do, is it? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, no. The AI is the AI, but when the AI thinks of Lawrence Wong or try to investigate Lawrence Wong, it will zzz, it will fizz out and then reboot. Yeah, my my idea is that the AI cannot monitor Lawrence Wong because he's in space, floating right. around. Yeah, he, they cannot. They can use the security cameras and scan everybody, but they cannot scan him because he's not. No, on Earth. but like this this system that you're proposing, right? Is yes. Predicated on like Lawrence Wong's way of thinking. Correct, and which is a calm, level-headed, you know, middle path. Uh, 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 so you know. therefore we want right. AI that is Lawrence Wong but not Lawrence Wong Correct. by a Lawrence Wong that is always watching Correct. the lo- mini Lawrence Wong Correct. so if, if the AI ever fucks up goes goes too much onto one that end Lawrence Wong makes the decision yes him. He's the chosen one. He's the chosen one, correct. Forever and ever. Wong's Forever and ever. And again, Skywalker. <laughs> Actually, there's one thing, right, that that one you feel to think though. Yes, yes. What if Lawrence Wong doesn't activate the kill switch? What, what if, if he wants what to if will. He, he What will. if he is like, oh my god, you motherfuckers <laughs> are tormenting me for the rest of eternity. You deserve whatever fate the AI overlords has for you, and I'm just gonna gleefully watch with my eyes wide open. No, then- can you do this thing where you do it like two ways? Yes. So like the Lawrence Wong's brain is also linked to the AI in some like kind of mystical manner, right. where you know once he thinks evil thoughts about Singapore, like then the AI kills him, but they, the AI doesn't know about his existence. So it's like a like a forever oh, like cycle. Ghost in the shell, man. Ooh, good shit, man. Nice. It sounds more like a psychopath to me. I, I, yeah, I feel like I feel like yeah. Dan Wong, you are like heavily in, influenced by psychopaths. But I just want you to know, I'm right? Sorry, in, Lawrence in the Wong. in the psychopath world, right, you will not be the brain. In, you will just be the guy that gets like gets, gets killed, get like exploded all your body parts. <laughs> yeah, because you'll be flashing yourself and it's like your criminal index is over <laughs> three hundred. <laughs> pew pew, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they, they point the guy oh my god we didn't know such criminal index could exist in a human being oh my god does it also ex- uh, like display his STI index yes absolutely yeah STI yeah sexually transmitted oh. infections okay. well the the Lawrence Wong knows Lawrence Wong, robot Lawrence Wong in the satellite he knows <laughs> how infected Dan Wong is Okay. Does knowing about it corrupt you, actually? No, knowing about what? Your perversion. Anyways, never mind. <laughs> okay, do we have anything else that we want to share? Any last thoughts, whatever? John, do you want to share about like your latest projects? Or yeah, anywhere you should, we you can should plug your project. You oh, yes. Uh, my, la- my latest project is actually actually a short film that I made titled <laughs> Tsai Fan Haiku <laughs> and it, uh, recently in November premiered in the Zinabi International uh, Film Woo! Festival Woo! of short films and uh, documentaries and it's uh, recently also been uh, featured in the Cahill du Cinema uh, magazine uh, which is an illustrious uh, French uh, film criticism magazine so uh so it's a, it's actually a, a short film 19 minutes uh hopefully it gets screened in singapore and at any in, in any time next year and it's actually a story about a quite socially unaware but a very sweet guy who is uh who, who composes a haiku on based on tai fun and what he wants to do is go to like this uh book talk with this uh relatively famous author and try to get his uh, opinion from it so what is special about it is that our tragic hero's character has a uh, has, has 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 some conversations on the cell phone and 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 the person voicing the voice in the cell phone is none other than <laughs> John, John Wang. Wang. Yeah. Inferior John. Yeah. <laughs> so here's I want you guys to, I want to paint a picture for all of you, right? So Superior John is like I need I need a guy's voice, right? To sound super abing, can speak, have that Hokkien, you know, Hokkien abing <laughs> voice to school people. And I'm fairly certain the first person he thought of was me. <laughs> I am almost fairly certain, like, I, I don't think he thought of anybody else. He's just like, John's the man. John's, yeah. John's, the, John's the dude. He he messaged me and was like, fuck yes, sign me up. Yeah. Right? I am I am so down for this. Uh, it, took, it took a couple of tries. Yeah. Uh, there, there was some... Um, I, 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 my creative intake was like a bit not suitable for the thing, but it all worked out really fantastically. I, I, I love it. 
I think I linked the yeah I linked the the YouTube the the trailer yeah to the Discord, and I'm just like hey guys yeah I'm a small tiny five second part of this. <laughs> when, when, when I wrote the dialogue right, the first thing I thought of right was John's review of a land image, and he say like this. This what what do you say? This paras the people are parasite <laughs> everything. And I was like, yes. That's the voice that was using my head. Yeah. Thank you very much for thinking of me. And uh yeah, um, I feel honored to be a part of your your, your endeavor. Oh my god. Yeah. So if this is <laughs> a this, John yeah. X John collaboration. Correct, if this John. film like wins like 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 camera door or something, then you 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 that's not fair <laughs> you have a a part to play in the yes. award winning so film. Was, this is because I am a Taobing. I am a Taobing. <laughs> no, no, it's because John doesn't make monkey noises. <laughs> yes. Because I am actually funny. Part 2000. Oh, shit. <laughs> John, if you ever need monkey noises, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, then I would love to absolutely <laughs> cast you in, in a film one day. Yeah. Just like, like as, as, as a, a side autistic character. Autistic <laughs> character. <laughs> a a no host but offensive guy <laughs> who just picks anything out of his mind and yeah oh endless God. defamation yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> the holocaust didn't happen <laughs> <laughs> the earth is flat disavow disavow <laughs> that's terrible yeah then you're terrible this is why you'll never be nominated uh, are, are we are we able to to view a typhoon haiku or is it still uh doing its rounds it's on the it's still, it's still trying to do its rounds okay. uh i can give you a private link uh <gasps> and then yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll give you a private link, yeah. which the yeah. unfortunately the viewers won't have an access to. Then, yeah. then we'll review it, and we'll not invite you when we review it. <laughs> <laughs> then after the review, you might might or might not see J- Superior John appearing. Well, right? I, know, I, know. <laughs> I, I am completely open to all. <laughs> anyway, we give Dan Wong the link, right? He also won't watch it, right? Yeah. He just <laughs> you just you just come in here. Wow, you know the meta narrative around John's voice, you know, is uh, really suspicious and not so great. I I, I think John should be removed, and uh, I should be the voice instead. You know, I should be making monkey voices in. Uh, Tai Fan Haiku. Do you know how it how how Tai Fan Haiku can be improved? If my voice was constantly, <laughs> if there are more monkey voices, if there's more monkey, is becoming a dan now. Yeah, you know, like that. That's the that's the problem with AI. You see, everybody's learning from you and becoming you. Then you'll be made redundant. Then in the future, we won't need a dan Wong. We just need simulations of dan Wong. <laughs> yep. All right, man. Cool. Thank you. Thank you so much, John, for no problem. No problem. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much for having yeah. me again. We'll we'll yeah. post a link when it's finally out and right, available right, right. in mm, cinemas yeah, locally, yeah. Like mm, of course. Yeah. Uh, if there's a if there's a screening in Singapore, I'll, I'll let you guys know, and yes, then you all can fantastic. Just yep. Awesome sauce. We will yeah. we will love to go. We'll also see if we can invite the Discord people as well to. Oh come yeah, 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 really yeah, yeah, for sure. To do no like mass screening. All right, cool. All right, thank you so much, guys, for listening in. Please uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. You know, find uh, Jonathan here, um, and keep an eye out for Taifan Haiku when it comes out. Uh, we're going to watch Ajuma. Okay, it's a good film, despite all of our criticism. We love it still. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, join our Discord. Find us on Spotify, Instagram, Contribute whatever. to our Patreon so we <laughs> can like <laughs> we don't make have it a less than We don't even have a Patreon. <laughs> Actually, have a Patreon. contribute to our imaginary Patreon so that we feel like we are supported in some sort of way. By the way, uh, strictly speaking, uh, I did create a Patreon account. Oh, you but did? Yeah, but it's completely empty. There's nothing. So I don't even know if you can find it anymore. I don't I, even... Can people just give us money without us having to do anything? No, you got to... Your Patreon page is called live. Oh, yeah, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. So, but after you go like, can you not do anything and still have people yes. give you money? Yeah. yeah, but why would anybody yeah. do that? <laughs> but because they love us. Okay, so with that, that shall be the end of today's episode. Thank you very much for listening and we shall see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Okay. Transition to our... Let me see. Do you need five seconds mm. silence?